Welcome to the continuation of our discussion on randomized complete block design. In the last video, I introduced you to the design and we looked at how it can be implemented. And I rounded, wrapped it up with a few examples of situations where that part, this particular design is applicable. Now, in this video, I'll be looking at how do we undo the analysis of data from randomized complete block design and i will start with this example this an example of a field experiment to compare sweet potato varieties three varieties of sweet potato from taiwan named namely tis 9265 tis 2498 and tis 6845 are being compared for yield. The experimental design was divided, I mean, the experimental site, sorry, was divided into five fertility compartments of equal size. Each compartment contained three plots, among which the sweet potato varieties were randomly assigned. Dates of planting and cultural practices were the same for all the plots in all the compartments. At harvest, the yield in tons per hectare for each variety in each compartment was obtained, as shown in the table on the next slide. Now the question is, is there a significant difference in the mean yield of the three varieties of sweet potato? Does the result justify the division of the experimental site into the five fertility compartments? These are the questions we want the analysis to answer for us. So we have the data here. As you can see, the sweet potato varieties, that's, this represents the treatments. And the fertility compartments, this represents the blocks. And these are the values obtained. Now, the steps we are to adopt in the analysis are the same steps as we used when we were looking at completely randomized design. So it starts with specification of the design and the statistical model with the assumptions. Then we need to present a proper layout of the experimental data in terms of the summary tables. And then we state the hypothesis to be tested. Then we'll carry out all necessary computations. We'll construct our ANOVA table and then we carry out the tests for significance and decide on which of the hypotheses to accept or reject and draw our relevant conclusions. So these are the steps, these are the procedures we we'll normally adopt in analyzing the data. And so what I will introduce to us is the procedure for analysis, assuming we are to carry out a manual analysis. In the next video, I will take you through how to use Microsoft Excel to analyze the data. Why I'm taking you through this theoretical, I mean, this manual part first, is to give you an understanding of how the analysis is done, so that when you use computer to do it, and the computer gives you your result, you can understand what that result is saying. So the first thing is, the name of the design is Randomized Complete Block Design. The linear additive model is as stated. The assumptions are also as stated. Uh, I have discussed this in the previous video. Now the layout is as follows. So you have your table showing the treatments and the blocks. Then you have the block total. So for compartment one or block one, this is the total all through to compartment five. Similarly, for this first treatment, this is the total. Second one, you have this, and the third one, this. And you have your grand total. The grand total is summation of all the individual observations. All of them together gives this grand total. Or all the block totals, they will give you that grand total. Or all the treatment totals will also give you the same answer. So that's our layout. Now we are looking at the hypothesis. For the hypothesis, 
since there are two sources of variations here variation due to blocks which are the fertility compartments and variation due to treatments which are the sweet potato varieties we'll have two sets of hypotheses so separate hypothesis for blocks separate hypothesis for treatments as indicated so we have the null hypothesis for blocks saying that there is no significant difference between the fertility compartments that's between the blocks the alternative is the exact opposite now for the treatments the null hypothesis is that there is no significant difference in the yield of the three sweet potato varieties and the alternative hypothesis is the exact opposite in the next video we will deal with the computations to see how the data are analyzed join me in the next video